one. Hi, I'm Jody Barrows. Welcome to our daily video blog. Now remember, if you have any questions or tips or hints that you would like for to see on the daily video blog, then just give us an email and we'll get those made up for you. Today what I want to show you is how quickly you can do the option one, which is the original square into square, and you just want to put the tip of the 90 of your ruler right inside the tip of your square. Now remember, every triangle unit starts out exactly like this, and what we mean by that is that you'll have a square in the middle with strips on the side, and that's the basic unit. And from the basic unit, you can trim it any uh, trim it into any triangle unit that you're needing. And for the option one, we just put the 90 right in the tip of that uh, corner square, line the lines right up over the seam, and this should go right through the grid. Now I've already made three cuts. As you make your cuts, you need to go back and check and make sure that the outside edges of your square are staying square with the lines on the ruler. Now it, they may not line up exactly with the lines. The edge of your fabric may not line up exactly with the edge of your line, but you can tell if they are straight or if they are way crooked like this. So once you start making cuts as you go around your block, it's very important to keep the block square as you go. Even if your piece is in here, your wings and this line do not line up correctly. You've got to keep the outside edges square and you've got to keep that fourth of an inch right there off of the tip. Now that's the option one. You can do great things with color. This you will use in almost every quilt that you make. And the, uh, if the, it's amazing how just the tumbling block quilt can be made with the option one and there's a free pattern on our website for our Christmas tree that's made just with the option one. Now the next one I want to show you is the flying geese. And of course you can do any color of the, of the strips, just like I said before. I want to show you on this one how we can get two flying geese that are different colors from the same square. Wherever the colors touch, that corner where the colors touch, if you want those to be together in the same flying goose, then that's where you put your 90 and leave the fourth of an inch for these flying geese. Go to the opposite side and do the same thing. Put the 90 in there leaving the fourth of an inch, making sure you're saying square, and doing this to the two opposite sides. Now on the other two sides, we want to put the 90 in, and we just want to step it over two lines. I call it the Texas two-step, and you want the tip of the line on the ruler to be right into the tip of the square. That's the fabric underneath, and then once again checking to make sure that you're staying square. You want this to be nice and sharp. You do not want it to be blunted. And of course you'll do that to the opposite corner. So put the 90 in there, step it over two lines. You want the tip of the line to be right in the tip of the square. Keep your unit square as you go along so your outside edges will be nice. And then wherever you've gone right up to the tip, that's your clue, your tip or your hint, that that's where you slice through and cut through. So here we have two perfect flying geese ready to go into our quilt, two different colors. So if you want the colors to stick together, leave the fourth of an inch. Um, if you don't want the colors to stick together, then leave the fourth of an inch here and see how you'd get a flying goose that way. Of course, you always have to trim, leaving the fourth of an inch and Texas two-stepping no matter where you put it on the block. Hopefully, this demonstration of the flying goose will help you realize how you can start working color different ways on your unit. Of course, I could have done them all for the same and had two that were exactly the same, or cut them the other way, trimming them correctly and getting two colors on there. I hope that makes sense to you. Now the next one I want to do is the um, option four half square triangles and we're just going to Texas two-step all four corners. So like we did on the two close cuts of the flying geese, that's what we're doing on all four corners here. And I always tell everybody there's three things to remember when you're doing the square and a square unit and that is, is that no matter what quilt you're making, no matter what color, no matter what size, everything will be made with a square in the middle and strips on the side. And then the different ways that you trim that basic square, that's how you get your triangle units, your perfect triangle units that go into your quilts. Now I've Texas two-stepped all four corners. This is going to be option four, half square triangles. And anytime you Texas two-step those corners, that means that you're going to cut through those corners either now or later to get your units. So I just carefully line up my ruler to go all directions and there I have four perfect flying geese. Of course, I mean uh, half square triangles, of course, those are in just about every quilt that, that you make. Now the last one that I want to show you is the option eight. 
And to do the option A, you leave the fourth of an inch on all four sides, and then you just go in here and cut the unit tip to tip. So we trimmed our basic block up, leaving the fourth of an inch on all four sides. Life in the studio with dogs and we're babysitting my sisters today, so he thinks he's king of the hill. Here's our option eights, right here. We left the fourth of an inch on all four corners and then we just went in and cut tip to tip. Now I want to show you these great borders that you can make all from this simple option eight. And look how easy it is to turn that mitered corner and head back the other direction. So today I've showed you option one, I've showed you option three and how to do special trimming on it so that you can get your colors all moved around if you're wanting to do that. And then the great option eight that we call Dove in the Window. This is also a great uh, accessory unit to put on the outside edges of a block. Some, so many of you have those five inch charm packs that you've gotten at the quilt shops. You don't know what to do with them. Well, here you go. Do your option eight and put them on the outside edge. And if you go to your Advancing on Two book, uh, there's uh, some great charts in that book. And um, it's right behind the colored pictures. And in those charts, in the Advancing on Two book, you're gonna see exactly what size to cut your center square here so that when you get them cut up here, they snap on your block exactly the way you want them to. And that's on page 45 in your Advancing on Two book. So I hope you've enjoyed our tip today on our daily video blog. Thanks. This is Jody. Bye-bye.